In this video today we're going to draw a picture of an elephant. First thing we need to do is fold our paper in half like a book and then fold it in half like a hot dog bun. Once you do that we're going to need a pencil, marker, and crayons. Once I get my pencil I'm going to draw my elephant's body which is going to start near the top on the crease and I'm going to make a big oval. Once you do that, we're going to draw the elephant's head, which comes out and down and wraps down to make his trunk. And then attaches back onto his body. After we do that, you're going to add his front legs, which come down and are curved on the bottom. And you're going to add a back leg. That's kind of curved and it's a little bit bigger because it supports more of his weight. Now we need some legs on the other side of him. So I'm going to draw it, this one a little bit shorter and in the background. Same thing over here. It's going to be a little bit shorter and in the background. I'm going to erase where the line overlaps his leg because his leg is connected to his body. And then I'm going to add his big ears. His ear starts here on the back of his head and goes down, back, and up above his head and connects to the top. The other one we don't really see as much of. We only see a little bit sticking out the other side. Now that we have this front ear drawn, we can't see part of the body and the head anymore, so you have to erase that. Now we're going to add his tusks. I'm going to draw the front tusk first. And then the other one sticks out the other side just a little bit. I'm going to erase where the tusk overlaps the trunk. Now I'm going to start to add some details like his tail. And now I'm going to draw his eye, which is really small for the size of his body. His eye looks like a football shape, and then it's got a circle inside. And then a big black circle inside that. Elephants are pretty old and wrinkly, so I'm going to draw some lines around his eyes and on his trunk. He's got a lot of fold lines or creases to make his trunk more flexible. Now I'm going to add some toenails on each of his feet. And then I'm going to draw the background. Draw a line in the background for the ground, and then I'm going to draw some trees behind him. Now you're ready to color. Now elephants are gray, but you can draw a color in whatever color you'd like. I'm going to draw the ground brown, the trees green, and the sky blue. Have fun drawing an elephant.